Tonight, Steve Hartman tells us about the harmonic convergence of two musicians. He met them on the road. The Philadelphia Orchestra boasts one of the best classical trumpet players in the country. And although David Bilger has played on stage for thousands, his most impressive performance happens here, in his own basement, for an audience of one. Okay. For more than a year, David has been mentoring 17-year-old Basset Azizi. Basset lives 7,000 miles away in Kabul, Afghanistan. That's it. The kid found David on Facebook and got his attention by tooting his own horn. It started off saying, I'm the best trumpet player in Afghanistan because there are only two. <laughs> and, I, and I was immediately taken by him. I said, okay, I got, I got to read the rest of what he has to say. What did he want? To get better. It's another reason that, that I wanted immediately to work with this kid. Can you try that? So they worked together over the internet until eventually Bassett got accepted into the prestigious Interlochen Center for the Arts High School near Traverse City, Michigan. Bassett is now the most unlikely up and coming trumpet player in America. Unlikely because in Afghanistan, some hardliners still think anyone playing an instrument, especially a Western one, should be punished. They didn't want music, you know. Did you feel like you were risking your safety? In some point, yes. But you did it anyway? Yeah. You must love that instrument. Yes, I do. It does uh, really highlight the, the power of music in people's lives. Today, for the first time in his life, Bassett says he can carry around his trumpet in public. It is a liberation that he owes almost entirely to a man he never met. David not only mentored Bassett, but he helped raise more than $30,000 to pay for his schooling. Where would your life be without him? I don't know. He did a lot. Last month, David flew in to meet Bassett face to face. Bassett struggled for the words, but the two he finally did come up with were more than ample. Thank you. Lastly, as for the future, Bassett says he isn't sure where all this will lead. But regardless, he says no matter what he does, he will give back. And no matter where he lives, he will not be silenced. Ah, uh, that's good. Here Steve on that, Hartman, that on the road, in Traverse City, Michigan. Wonderful story.